go to the moon and lift the cane and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Hi, I'm the Casual Spaceman and welcome to my channel and welcome to which is a little bit of an unusual video for me because um, this is the first time I've had to do it and um, hopefully I'll not need to do this again. Um, this is actually a correction or a redaction, no, correction I think is the, the correct terminology um, and it's regarding the um, stream I did last night when I debunked um, one of Owen Benjamin's videos um, as I'm sure some of you uh, would have already seen. Um, and in the video, I incorrectly stated that the uh, computers on the Apollo spacecraft were analog. Uh, that's actually incorrect. They were digital. Um, and it was pointed out to me by a viewer who commented, um, uh, obviously in the comments below that uh, live stream posted video, um, she stated that she enjoyed watching it but wanted to correct me. So what I'm going to do for you now is I'm going to read the comment um, and it was by somebody by the name of Janie and what I've done is I've posted the, uh, sorry I've pinned the comment um, uh, below that video uh, so everybody can actually see um, where I went wrong um, and I wanted to put this also out as well to uh, dis dispel any confusion and dispel the myths. Um, I don't want to be responsible for um, sending out wrong information. Um, I want my channel to be informative um, so that's why I felt it was important to um, put this right and to correct myself um, because I have I have been wrong. So um, the comment in question um, it says, Casual Spaceman, I did enjoy this video, but please listen to one of the older people who um, who lived through the era and learned a couple of things um, in my lifetime. I'd like to educate you in something, though. The actual computers were digital. Stop with these analog computers. Um, yes, Jane, I will stop from now on in. The computers were programmed as we do today, but it was older technology, but saw the introduction of digital chips, too. There are some very good videos from NASA from the 60s to detailing the whole process of designing and programming the digital computers. Quite right, they are as well. Analog computers does not mean they used trans transistors. And even in the video, they said the, the, um, uh, the K of memory and the analog computers do not use digital memory. Um, stupidly, I never really picked up on that. Um, but you learn. Um, it was the sensors that were analog, um, digital supplying digital data to the digital computer. As you said, casual, the computers had seven segment displays, and I did. I said they were digital displays. Um, I was quite right. Again, didn't pick it up. She went on to say um, <clears throat> analog computer is a specific computer that does not use ones and naught. So you are wrong about what makes an analog computer. Analog computers use voltage levels and um, amps to do the required functionality. Uh, also quite right as well, um, and I was also wrong in that as well. Um, they use a variation in voltage, um, and I remember reading somewhere typically um, something like 15 volts plus 15 volts to minus 15 volts or something on those lines. But again, um, I'll be quite happy to. But anyway, it's a variation in voltage um, for analog computers to work, and that's not how the Apollo computers operated. Digital computers in the 60s were all hardwired, so I was quite correct in what I said in that regard, they were hardwired, um, in the sense that all components were um, discrete transistors, resistors and diodes placed on circuit boards. The computers on the moon missions had the programs preset in the core memory. They called it string or corded memory for the program, but it was digital through and through. Please, analog computers were a completely type, different type of computer. Even NASA did not call it analog. Um, I've been computing since the 60s and uh, designed quite a number in my lifetime. Um, so um, I bow to, um, her name is Janie, 
Um, I bow to her um, superior knowledge in these things, and I stand fully and wholly corrected in what I said in the live stream. Um, the conversation went on um, while I said I standed corrected, and she says, you're welcome. Um, I noticed it being said elsewhere, and it's important to know it's digital. And yes, she's quite correct. It is important to know it's digital. Um, I know the reason uh, why the myth of it being analog came up, and that was to defend its ability to work in the radiation. And this is where she goes on to explain um, how they weren't affected by radiation, and it makes complete sense. And this can also be checked. I've checked through um, various sources, including Wiki, um, and it's everything's there as well. She goes on to say, the reason they worked with the radiation is the radioactive particles were microscopic, compared to the size of each transistor element in the computer and had little change of causing a change of state in any bit on memory. Whereas modern computers have the transistor elements so small um, on the computer chips, um, a radioactive particle will have a decent chance, uh, chance of uh, changing bits. Also on the moon missions, the computer itself was housed in a solid metal container to prevent radiation issues, should they arise. There is some very good videos in YouTube covering the uh, entirety of what was involved in preparing the missions. They were excellent, and some on the spacesuits, some of the computer, um, some on the computer, some on the internal guidance gyros, and so on. Yes, quite right, there is. Um, um, if you have a, a day, sorry, a week, then look them up and truly be amazed at all the work that went into the moon missions, uh, moon mission preparations. Um, so yeah, I, I've looked all this up and I've done a bit of research on various sources, um, and the sources all say the same thing. Um, so I stand completely and wholly uh, corrected. I was wrong in what I said um, in the video, um, as pointed out, and I apologise to the viewers of the video and to my subscribers um, I got it wrong um, and this proves two things really one is do your research I should have done a little bit more research before I spoke um, about this issue and I didn't um, I thought I was correcting what I was saying and I wasn't um, so that's a lesson learned but I think it also proves that um, I'm willing to learn and I'm willing to show that I'm incorrect and um, and also another thing thirdly I think it just proves that I'm human humans make mistakes but I think it's important to be honest and upfront um, when I do make a mistake and that's what I will continue to do if and when I make more mistakes well actually when I make more mistakes I'm sure I will at some point um, so at least at the very least um, at least I've got some integrity to admit that I am wrong so um, I want to thank Janie um, on the comments on my previous video for putting me right. Um, I've learned a great deal, so thank you, and thank you for, um, for um, correcting me. So um, I think that's all I've got to say on the matter, and I appreciate um, everybody viewing the, uh, the, the live stream as well, and also viewing it since um, it was posted as a recording. And again, I appreciate everybody subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. Um, and if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon and you'll be notified when I upload more videos. Okay, so that's all from me. I've been your host, Casual Spaceman. Thank you for watching. We choose to go to the moon in this decay and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind.